So recently I've made a tutorial on how to animate these voice and text messages and there was a guy on YouTube called Dextrus4466 and he asked me if I could do the same effect but with a song, for example from Spotify or Apple Music and today I will show you how to do this. First you need a clip where you want to track this whole animation. So I've got here the first clip with normal lightning where I put on my headphones and then I have did the same thing but with a different set of lightning. I just thought it looks really cool and I just want to show you how I did this little match cut there. So I select here the first clip and at this point where I put my headphones onto my ear like here. I trim this clip and here at the exact same position. So when you film this make sure you do exactly the same movement or as close as possible. So somewhere around here and then when I watch it here I'm starting to close my eyes on the first one and so here I could trim it like here and that looks good. And the whole magic behind this match cut is when you go up here to effects you've got here video transitions and you've got here the smooth cut and I just put it inside here and I've got it 8 frames long, you can see it here on the right side of the inspector, you can adjust it here as long as you want it to have. And then this is the whole magic behind this seamless match cut. So it looks like I'm putting on the headphones and the lights slowly turn into this teal and orange look. So this is just a quick explanation of the match cut, how I did it. And for the animation I have here the screen recording from my phone from Epidemic Sound. You can do it exactly the same way with Spotify. Because of copyright reason, I will show you how to do it with Epidemic Sound. But here it's the same way, you just take the clip and you crop out what you want to have. For example, here I want to have it somewhere around here and that's it. And then we put it into the Fusion clip and animate it. But I will do it here, as I said, with Epidemic Sound. So I take this clip, go here to cropping, then I crop the top until here and I crop the bottom somewhere around here. So this is the framing I want to have for this animation. And if you stick to the end, I can show you an even crazier way how to animate this. Then make sure these two clips are color graded here. And here, because we did the match cut and the transition, we create a new compound clip with them. Because when we don't do that in the Fusion page, we will have two separate clips and we don't want to have that. And then make sure here the music is aligned to, to your video. So here on the drop of the music, this is the position where I put on my headphones. So I make here a little marker, put it over here. And here I search the frame where I put it onto my ears. Here I have the light changing and this is where I want to have here the drop of the music. So I make sure here the screen recording and the compound clip is aligned to each other. So when I play it, I put it on and then the drop starts. Then make sure they are both the same length, then select both of them, create a new fusion clip and we jump into fusion. I won't go too much into detail in this tutorial. I've made another one that's very detailed for that. In this tutorial, I want to show you the variations or what you can do or get more creative with only a screen recording and how to animate this. Your fusion will look like this. Make sure you delete the merge and the background notes. We don't need them. The media in one is here your clip where you put on your headphones and you can see we have here the, the smooth cut, the transition perfectly inside. This is why we created this compound clip. Then connect it to the media out. Make sure your media out is on the right viewer so you have the overview of what you are doing. And then the media in two is here the screen recording. Now it's up to you if you want to have the screen recording tracked somewhere around here or you just want to place it inside your scene. I would like to track it so I select here the media in one, hit shift and spacebar, type in tracker. Then I select a high contrast point to track this whole thing. This is a little bit complicated here because it's really dark. But I think we could try a point up here on the headphones. Click here on best match and track it both ways. Keep an eye here on this window and we will see how the tracker does its job. But it looks very good. And from here on it doesn't matter. So that works perfectly fine. Go to operation match move so when we plug our media in two inside here you can see it's tracked to our headphone 
Then I select here the media in two, hit shift and spacebar, type in DVE. And with the DVE node, I will position here the screen recording how I want it to have in my scene. So up here, you can position the X and the Y axis and the set move, you can make it smaller or bigger. And down here on rotation, you can flip it around as you want it to have. And then for the animation at the beginning, so it comes out of our headphone, after the DVE node, hit shift and spacebar and type in transform because we will do the animation here with a separate transform node. So it's way easier for us to animate it. So I want to pop it up here at this frame. So I select the transform node and I make sure here the pivot point from the transform here, this screen cross is here on my headphone. So when I make it smaller, it goes into my headphone. This is very important. Then I set here on size a keyframe and reduce it to zero. Then I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 frames further and I put it back to one. So in these 10 frames here, the animation pops up like that. To make the animation way smoother and more engaging, go here to settings, enable motion blur, quality and shutter angle all the way up. Open up the splines up here, search for the transform node right here, enable it. Click here on this little icon, zoom to fit, select everything with command or control A, press S to smoothen them. Now grab here this handle and put it over to around here. So it starts very fast and then it goes slow. So we have a very, very smooth animation like that. You can close the splines, we don't need them anymore. And to make it look a bit more realistic and like a hologram, select here the media in two. Hit shift and spacebar, type in Luma here. Now play around here with these settings until you're happy with the look of it. So the Luma here just takes away the, the darker colors. So we have more here, the white sections a bit more popped out. Just play around here with the settings until you think that looks good. When you're happy with the adjustments, hit once again, shift and spacebar, type in soft glow. So click here on this drop down on color scale and here you can adjust the colors until you're happy with the adjustment. So I want to have it more like orange. So I go here way more in this orange until it matches here with the color in my face. And then play around here with the gain and the glow size until you think that looks good, like that. So when you see the before and after, just this little glow makes a huge of a difference into this scene. So it really matches with the whole thing. And when you go back to the edit page and we let it pre-render, you can see we have a smooth animation like that. So, and as I said at the beginning, I make another way how to animate this very cool. For that, I just quickly copy here the fusion page, open this one in the timeline, and I just copy these two back here into the timeline like that. Now I want to separate here these two parts. So I want to have this upper section here and the section below. So for that, I just copy this clip, disable this real quick, and then I trim here the top part until here, then make this back visible and I trim this part to around here. So I have this split up here in two separates. Then select all of them, create with them a new fusion clip. First, jump back here in your first fusion clip then copy here this whole node tree because the other clip is exactly the same. Go back then open the new fusion clip in the fusion page. Once again delete the merge and the background nodes. Copy over the whole node tree, select the media in one, connect it to the tracker and to the media out. Then here on the right side I want to have here the media in three, so just this picture here. So this section of the screen recording. So I plug in the media three into the luma here so we have our animation back but only with the upper section here so only with this part of course you can go in here and adjust the sliders if you're not happy here with the adjustments but i think this looks very good for now so i will leave it exactly like that and now what i want to do is here the waveform i want to have it on the other side so i put it over here then copy the whole node tree here once again so i don't need to track it one more time plug it inside here, so make sure it's connected to the whole node tree and put it inside here. So of course we have it here on the right side, but we want to have it on the left side. 
So first select your transform node, make sure the pivot point is on the left part of the headphones, right here. Make sure your first position here the pivot point and then go into the DVE node and reposition it. Because when you first position it and then reposition the pivot point, you need to reposition it again in the DVE node. I hope you can follow along with these steps. And then I reset here all the adjustments and I place it where I want it to have. And then I go into the soft glow and now I adjust the colors here into this teal look. So we have here orange and here teal. So adjust the sliders until you're happy with the color. I put on my headphones. On the right side there's here the logo and on the left side here I have the waveform from the music. And now of course we want to have the animations in the background. But you can only do that in the studio version of DaVinci Resolve because of the magic mask. To mask out yourself, select here the media in one. This is your clip where only you are visible. So select this clip, copy it over here into a free space and just connect it here with the tracker. This creates automatically a merge node and everything is gone because this video here is now in the foreground. Hit shift and spacebar, type in magic mask. Put the magic mask into the right viewer. Make sure you select everything, including your headphones and your hand like that. Click on better and then track yourself the whole clip through. And when your tracker is finished, put back the media out onto your right viewer. And now you can see we are in the front here of both animations like that. And now it's your part. Get creative with some screen recordings. With that said, have fun creating and see you in the next one.